Howdy folks, Josh here with The Weekend Angler, back with another Short Tip Saturday video. And in today's video, we're going to be saving this broken fishing rod from the trash can by replacing a broken eye. So stick around. Alright guys, a couple weeks ago I had one of my Tangled with Catfish spinning rods in the bed of my truck and unfortunately during a sudden stop we ended up breaking the tip off of that rod. So there's the eye, there's where the rest of that's supposed to be, but we're going to be saving this rod from the trash can and we're going to be using an Eagle Claw heavy duty rod tip repair kit to get this rod back into working order. Now guys, these things come in different sizes depending on the diameter of the rod that you're going to be fixing. The good thing is, they put the sizes of the eyes right there on the package so you can see it. They usually come with two or three in a package, that way you can get close, get it done. Guys, this is an extremely simple fix. I'm gonna show you guys how we're going to do this and then this rod's gonna be ready to go again. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll get everything out. I'll walk you through the process step by step and we'll save this rod from the trash can. So let's get started. All right guys, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is figure out which of the rod tips best match your rod. You want a snug fit, you don't want it too loose, but obviously if it's too tight and it's scraping down the rod, you don't want that either. So we're gonna pick the one in the middle. I've already checked it out. This is the one that gives me the best fit. This is actually measuring out at a 12 64ths. As you can see, it goes on there fairly snug. So we'll set that one aside and we'll continue on. Alright guys, all these kits are going to come with this little thing of rod cement. It's a fancy way of saying hot glue. But what you're going to want to do Get that opened up a little bit. And you're going to heat this. We're going to be using one of these grill lighters. I'm going to heat that for about three seconds. Get that hot glue melted. And we're going to rub this right there at the end of the rod. This is going to secure that new tip. So we'll go one, two, three. Doesn't have to be pretty, just has to work. All right. For the next step, we're gonna need a pair of pliers. And carefully hold that eye so that you're not breaking your new eye. You're gonna heat the barrel of that for about five seconds. Immediately put that on the tip of your rod. Get that lined up with the eye right behind it as best you can. Don't worry if you don't get it right the first time. That's a good thing about hot glue. You can always heat this back up. So we'll give that just a little bit of heat. push that into place and we're going to hold that for about 10 seconds. Alright guys, after that's had time to cool, you can take and just kind of move it back and forth with your fingers just to make sure that the cement held. Clean up any excess cement that may have ended up on the outside of the rod tip and you're good to go. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this week's Short Tip Saturday video. I hope this video has helped you out. If it has, please take a moment, give it that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, I try to put out one of these short tip videos every Saturday. It covers a boating or fishing related topic. If 
that's something you're interested in go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the little bell that way you get a notification every time i post a new video or go live guys we've got a fixed fishing rod only cost us five dollars we're going to be able to keep using it that's a win no matter how you cut it guys thank you for watching appreciate you sticking around and until next time we'll catch you out on the water